What's up, family? Hey, I just wanted to get on here real quick. Back in 96, I found myself as a single parent of my two older kids. Uh, my daughter was going to, she was five years old, going on six. And my son was three, going on four. And um, my daughter has that African queen hair, if you know what I mean. And I'm talking about that natural, thick, 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 coarse, coarse, coarse hair. And man, I didn't know anything about doing that stuff. I didn't know how to do anything with her hair. But as a single parent now, I'm in that situation. I got to do it, you know. And <laughs> man, my poor daughter, she caught hell. <laughs> she caught hell. Um, because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. You know, um, I always had women around me. And at this point, it's like, okay, I, I got to get it together. You know, these are my kids. They're my responsibility. You know, I just can't have women in and out of their life, you know, because it makes it easier for me. You know what I mean? Because um, they could do hair and whoop de whoop. You know what I mean? I got to. They're my responsibility. My son, it was easy, just, zip, 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 you know, he cutting his hair and he was done. You know what I mean? It, no big deal, you know? But my daughter, man, I didn't know how to wash her hair and condition her scalp and condition her hair and to part her hair, to oil it and to comb her hair and all that. Man, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff at all at all and so i had to learn you know i had to learn i learned the hard way you know and again my one poor daughter i'm getting this girl tylenol and advil all kind of headache medicine and stuff because man she catching it you know she catching hell because i didn't know what i was doing and when i said i didn't know what i was doing for those of you men that know how to do your girls' hair, man, I salute you. I'm proud of you. I didn't know how to do that back then. I could do it now, but I didn't know what the heck I was doing then. I didn't understand that in order to comb their hair, in order to comb her hair, I was supposed to start at the end and comb it back to the um, scalp. So... I'm combing it from the scalp to the end, you know, just yanking, just, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny at all. And I felt so bad for her, you know, because I didn't know what I was doing. And there's times that I would um, part her hair. And there's one time in particular, I did her hair and I was... I thought I did an okay job. I knew it wasn't great, but man, it was it was better than what I had it looking before. You know what I mean? And again, I was in the military. I was young, and I really, you know, military, you don't get paid a whole lot of money. You know, I didn't get paid hardly anything, so I couldn't afford to get her hair braided. And I was tired of taking her to friends and, you know, friends with benefits and all that other stuff. It's like, I got to do this. You know what I mean? I got to man up and I, I got to get this done, you know? And so, there's one day I did her hair. And I was like really proud of the Brett's, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was proud of the color sequence I had on her, you know, because it matched her outfit and everything. And that was like the best of her hair do, you know what I mean? Because the parts, it's like all zigzag. It was like in four parts. It's supposed to have been like a straight line in the back and across. Man, it was all zigzag. And it wasn't intentional. And I thought I braided her hair and put the breads on, you know. But all I did was twist it. You know, I just split her hair up in two pieces and just twist it. And I thought that was braiding at the time. I understand that that's not braiding now. But back then, I didn't know any better. 
I could braid and hook her hair up now. She won't let me touch her hair, but I could do it if I had to. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and she looked in the mirror. And she, she came to me. She said, it's okay, Daddy. You'll get better. And I was sad because I knew that it, it was all right, but it was, it was presentable, but it didn't look great like when a woman was doing her hair, you know what I mean? And the part that hurt me the most, was I knew I sucked, <laughs> you know what I mean? I knew I sucked, but the part that hurt the most was that my daughter's of age now to where she know I suck at <laughs> doing her hair, you know what I mean? It was okay for me to know that I suck. I mean, I knew I sucked. You know what I mean? But to have my daughter know that I suck, that hit home. That hurt. That hurt. And even though I did my best, I felt bad for her because she knew that she was conscious of her hair now. Why am I sharing that story? Because in life, you can do your best. You could give your all. And you have people that don't appreciate it. You have people that... That ain't good enough. You're giving your all. And you'll still have people that treat you like you haven't done crap. As though what you did was insignificant. And if you're not careful, you'll take that to heart and think you suck. You did the best that you could do. The very best that you could do. And if you're not careful, You'll have selfish, ungrateful people make you feel as though you're not crap. Make you feel as though you haven't done anything. Make you feel as though what you've done was insignificant. We've got to get to the point to where once we've done our best, man, that's all we could do. That's all we could do. I, I can't give no more. You can't give no more. You can't do no more. You, you've done all you could do. You've done your very best. We have to get to the point. Or we could pat ourselves on the back. Said, Man, I did. I did my thing. I tried. I can't give you anything else. You, you know what I mean? And, and if that's not good enough for you, then it is what it is. I'm not going to feel bad because you expect more and I can't give you more. I'm not going to feel bad because... You're saying that I ain't crap because I ain't doing this, this, and that. Man, I'm not tripping off of that. That's your stuff. If you if you can't be cool with the best that I could do at this time, understand it, man. I'm 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 learning. I'm trying to go. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'll try to get better. You know, I'll try to do more. But right now, this is all I could do. And if, if that's not good enough for you, it is what it is. Don't allow somebody to put you in an emotional prison because your best wasn't good enough. Don't allow somebody to beat you up and beat you down emotionally because your best wasn't good enough. Because, see, you know what the trip is? 
to somebody else, your best, man, that's going above and beyond. To somebody else, your best, man, that's everything. To somebody else, your best, man, they so appreciate and value your intent. They appreciate and value your effort. And it's like, man, babe, what? Okay, this is your best. Let me put my best in with your best and let's see what we could do. Instead of me sitting back waiting for you to do everything and expecting you to do this, 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 and that, 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 and I'm not doing nothing but sitting on my butt critiquing you and criticizing your efforts, man, you're with the wrong person. You're with the wrong person. Because somebody that really got your back, man, they're going to see you putting in your best effort. And they're going to match that effort. And they're not going to criticize you in the process. They're going to encourage you and support you. They're going to be your greatest cheerleader. Because the reality, all any of us can do, is our best. Whatever that is. All you can do is your best. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.